Now, uh, what uh, what about the, uh, the econo economical uh, consequences uh, of the conditions that, that you're describing, Eric? Yes. Um, uh, now we come to um, some of the uh, that has uh, to do with the motives of uh, corruption and uh, and uh, travesty of justice in Norway. We can one can sum it up in uh, three words. Uh, money, power, and greed. And uh, he also has uh, written um, s a report on uh, the conditions in Norway. He calls it uh, robbery and neutralizing the welfare state, the welfare state of the uh, state in the state clan. And in the last years, there has been some discussion about increasing poverty in Norway. One shouldn't expect that in uh, what is known to be the richest country in the world. That's yes, supposed uh, to be, yeah. Yes, and um, when you look at the gross na na national product, you can say that it is, but uh, it's, uh, more and more people are living in, um, in poverty in Norway. And he ha in this report, he looks uh, on the, the explanation in media and in, by politicians and show that this do not uh, uh, comply with facts. Mm. So he looks at um, uh, the judicial systems and the abuse of power as an explanation. And many people have lost, for, for example, their house as uh, to pay for uh, uh, the legal process or uh, they lost their jobs because of being whistleblowers. He quoted, quotes, for example, um, a report um, that said, uh, says that one third of the employees in uh, health care or school or uh, child protection are afraid of, go of going to the leadership to take up uh, the, cr the conditions work of critic and when that's one third, one should remember that uh, then you have not taken with the leadership. It can be small entities where the leadership, uh, uh, one person in the leadership is uh, one of, out of few. And what about uh, those who are not whistleblowers but commit these things? They are part of the statistic too. So what this reveals that is is a culture of fear and people who oppose the system can be forced out of job. And many example of uh, these people be forced out of job. And, and I will uh, mention one person because that bears right next to uh, another um, uh, side of the economy in Norway. Uh, Torsten Leon Hansen. He wrote um, for the university, um, maybe you can call it a master degree or something equivalent. He uh, got help from Kåre uh, Torvald, a fisherman in Norway, um, who they tried to place into psychiatry. With his help, he could reveal a large amount of corruption in the fishing industry in Norway. Yeah. And that has very much uh, impact on uh, local so society in, in Norway. Yeah, indeed. Now, uh, there's an next question. Uh, if it, it sounds very much as uh, the situation there in Norway is uh, similar, albeit more serious, than what is in this, in, in this country. Uh, here in the UK, uh, many people, enlightened people like you, Eric, they, they realize that it's, it is a waste of time writing to newspapers and politicians. It's just like throwing snowballs at the moon. So what, what uh, Norwegian uh, politicians doing about this situation, these issues? Well, I have written to politicians, and uh, um, so part of my motivation was just to try them, try what do they answer. So, for example, in the last parliamentary election before that, I wrote to every um, candidate, that means all the first candidates, and um, as many for, from e top candidates from each party that, as they had from each election constituency. So they got all the form about uh, many of these grave um, conditions that I've talked about. 
Uh, and uh, uh, in 2003, uh, I and um, Mr. Hiosen was walking um, on the main street in Oslo during the campaign. And we talked to the politicians, uh, their uh, activists from all the parties, and gave them some literature, some short literature. And um, I shall not mention the name of one uh, member of parliament, but he was sympathetic to our, what we said. But when we ca came into real uh, grave conditions, he said, uh, I don't, this is, I'm, I'm frightened, of, t frightened of this. I don't want to talk about that. He said that openly to us. And uh, one politician was also uh, uh, sympathetic to our cause. He said that uh, this walking up and down and handing out this, this is dangerous. And uh, uh, I will take, tell about uh, an incident that um, uh, is uh, both a bit comical but also severe. It uh, shows a much. Uh, uh, Dag Hiosen, uh, the leader of FAMPO, he lives in a um, uh, municipality some, uh, uh, um, not so far from Oslo, where uh, the vice mayor is uh, also the chief of the organization of the Liberal Party that had the Minister of Justice uh, a few years ago. And uh, he has been profiled as a person who, um, uh, when it, there's some injustice and, uh, and corruption, he, he takes it up. But we had sought some reason to believe that that's not true. So we, as a test, when he wrote an answer in letter to uh, Hiosen, he kind of revealed himself. And I, um, on the Liberal Party's internet pages, I wrote uh, about this. And then he um, um, uh, revealed himself completely by by. by uh, uh, coming with lies it, about a um, um, case w uh, of an um, editor being sacked for uh, uh, for uh, writing about uh, corruption and people telling the like, truth. Telling the truth, yes. She was sacked, yeah. and when she went to the court, um, there uh, we can. Uh, he also has written a report that documents that to be a corrupt uh, case in the court. And this politician, he began writing uh, uh, lies about that case that uh, said that our leader uh, uh, was a lawyer in the case. He was not, that he didn't show up in uh, the court, which he did. And finally, that this um, editor had been brainwashed, and me personally was brainwashed. And uh, I sent an open letter to uh, uh, Mr. Lars Sponheim, the, the chairman of the Liberal Party, a well-known uh, no, uh, politician in Norway. So, uh, I didn't get uh, any answer, but when I sent a new letter, the general secretary of the party uh, answered, but uh, he didn't really answer. His, there was an answer that uh, said nothing. So. They wouldn't uh, distance themselves from these lies. And when I sent a new open letter later in 2004 to the justice, Minister of Justice from the same party and placed it uh, on the discussion forum, forum on uh, the Liberal Party's internet pages, we were invited to uh, the Ministry of Justice. And with us we have had the report about um, the case of the... Uh, editor being sacked and other documentation. We got on tape that uh, the repress, uh, those representing the Minister of Justice, he wasn't uh, there himself. They had got what we told them. They uh, uh, got our documentation. They promised to um, give, give feedback to write to us, uh, give. Uh, uh, give answer. We never heard about them and sing again.